All right, hello everyone. Eric Marks, FindingMiddleEarth.com, and another on one photo raw video for you. Uh, this is another viewer request. Uh, this viewer, I think, is a wedding photographer, and he wanted to know how on one photo raw uh, kind of processes skin tones and how it looks with close up portraits. Because uh, I think um, I forget his name, but I think he was uh, interested in purchasing on one, but he wanted to see how it looked first. So uh, I chose this candid photo here. Uh, of a groom at a wedding that I photographed and the, the little I'll give you a little backstory here so that you'll see this this staircase behind him his uh, his soon-to-be wife was walking down the staircase and they were doing the um, you know the whole reveal uh, before the wedding so he was gonna get to see her in the dress right before the wedding uh, so we did the reveal photos, you know, of his expressions and everything. So he was just sitting there, you know, really anxious with his hands kind of, you know, just anxiously waiting um, to see his bride. So that's why he had that. So, I, you know, I had to photograph the expression, of course. So uh, that was a fantastic, you know, emotion that I got out of him. So what would I do if I was just using on one photo raw and not using Photoshop here? All right. So let's obviously we're in the develop module. Uh, let's crank down the highlights a bit. All right do that now what's before we get too much into this I know this is gonna bug a lot of you what's really bugging me is this uh, reflection here from the speed light that I had of course as a wedding photographer you have a speed light on top of your hot shoe pretty much at all times and you're reflecting off of walls and ceilings and whatnot uh, so of course there's just a little splotch there that's super easy to get rid of in Photoshop we'll see uh, if we can get rid of it in here easily uh, let's add some contrast I like making my portraits uh, my wedding portraits pretty moody uh, let's add some some warm tones back into this all right and bring his skin to life a little bit add some magentas in uh, let's see if the magentas will work or not uh, maybe like two or three percent and then let's um, I always like and this it might be kind of funky I always like to desaturate my portraits just a bit like maybe five to five to seven percent all right let's just do five percent on this one all right so we'll do that um, what else do I want to do so since he's has his eyes closed, you know, obviously there's some kind of natural wrinkles uh, forming on his face. And since, since this is a close up of the groom, I typically only do skin work on the bride uh, and the bride's, you know, bride's mother or things like that. So uh, I do it on the groom sometimes. In this case, I am. I'll just show you how it works. Let's let's open up a local adjustment brush here. And what I want to do, let's do a um, a minus detail all right let's do detail minus like 11 percent and we'll make the feathering on the brush at 100 which it's there that's good make the brush bigger and let's just paint some minus detail which is basically like minus clarity in lightroom and other softwares around his face here all right we never want to go over his eyes and we never want to go over his uh, like kind of the curse. So, so for example, we would never want to go at this wrinkle here. We never want to go on the edges of his nose or anything like that. We just want to go in between all of the contour of his face here. So we would never paint, you know, uh, minus detail on his beard or anything like that. Let's just go over the nose. Let's uh, do some... Oh, I just did something. There we go. Uh, I hit the backslash key and that turned the preview off. So... Do this. I'm just trying to make sure I get everything good here. Okay. I think that's good. And then let's play with this. Let's add some more minus detail. Obviously, that's going to be like, you know, like a porcelain doll. So we just want to make it just, we just, you know, just a little bit. We don't want to do anything crazy. Uh, we'll do something like that. Because it also kind of makes his skin glow a little bit in the light, which I, I kind of like. It, it works really well with brides. Uh, let's get those wrinkles in there. Right, because everyone kind of naturally has those wrinkles when you close your eyes. All right, so let's do something like that, and let's see what would happen if we even brightened the face a little bit from here. Do something like that. Why not? All right, uh, cool. So then let's go back to uh, what do I want to do now? Let's see. Uh, let's add some more contrast. I think it still needs to be kind of moodier. Let's more contrast here, and let's hop over to uh, effects here. All right. And in the effects, there's an actual presets uh, section called Wedding. So let's check this out and see what's up here. Uh, doo -doo -doo, I don't like that. I don't like that. Uh, let's see how this would look. This little Twilight preset looks kind of cool. 
Um, it looks kind of like a film preset. I'm actually not digging that right now. Let's do, what is smooth color pop? Let's see what that does. Uh, that's kind of nice. Let's see what the smooth color pop vignette does. Ah, okay. I kind of like that. Let's ref So we need to move the vignette because it's it's obviously not uh, centered around his face. So we can do go over here and click uh, mask, or I'm sorry, refine mask. I believe. Uh, I think that's it. Let's see. Maybe it's not. Let's hit, there we go. Mask. Okay. So you click on mask, then you can move the center of the vignette. So we'll kind of move it there and. That should be good, and we'll just kind of angle it a little bit there. Why not? We'll angle it downward. Do something like that, and then we can go back to the view. All right, so I like that. Uh, I want to... So I just made my mind up on something, what I want to do here. I want to go back and lower the exposure. All right, I want to lower this a bit. Um, because this is kind of an intimate moment. It might even work well as a good black and white, but let's lower the exposure, and then let's go back to the local adjustments. We'll add a layer. And I want to just add some exposure to his face, all right? Just his face, and maybe just like a tad bit of the surrounding areas. There's, there's a little splash of lights here and there. I'm just kind of just kind of clicking around with the light. I'm not, you know, I'm not using too much. The nice part about this is you can use the opacity with these layers. Uh, so let's kind of ease it in. So here's with the opacity slider here, just easing it in. So let's do something like that. Uh, okay, that's not bad. Um, what else? Let's do a, let's zoom in so you can see uh, how it renders skin tones here. All right, so I actually think the tones are quite nice, um, especially since this was actually really bad lighting and it was backlit, I'm shooting into a window, so it was kind of a tough scene to light. Um, so you can see he's got a little bit of broken skin on his finger there. So let's click the fix tool over here and see if we can just kind of clone stamp that out. There we go. It worked a little bit. We'll do another little pass over it. There we go. So that's gone. There's a couple little skin abrasions right here we'll get rid of. Right. Uh, what else? Let's pull up on the photo a little bit and see if there's anything else. Um, you know, in Photoshop, if you're if you're crazy obsessive, you can get rid of these little hairs. I never do that with wedding photos because there's so many of them to edit. You just want to be kind of quick with wedding photos. And I know I know this seems kind of slow right now, but um, you know when you're when you're not doing a video and trying to teach people how to do stuff, this can be super super quick. Um, all right, so I just hit Command Zero, by the way, to get back to a, a regular view. Uh, I think that's about it. I mean, I'm just gonna leave it. It, it was a very simple, intimate moment. I, I like how I just kind of darkened everything down. I might even crop it because there's some light spillage over here from the window that I'm noticing. And on a print, that would kind of ruin this special moment. So we'll just kind of clamp that in a little bit and hit Enter. Yep, there you go. I like that. So that's just, I, I darkened everything. I splashed some light back into his face. I did some minus detail on his face. Very simple things. Um, and again, this isn't, this is really uh, less of a post processing tip video and just more of a, let's, you know, uh, digging into On One Photo Raw and see how it handles skin tones. And I think it, it did pretty well. Um, I like it. And the, the fact that they have a whole wedding section for presets is kind of cool. So I'm going to continue playing around with these. I think this Twilight preset here uh, would look really good for certain situations because it, it, it does kind of desaturate everything and kind of mute the colors, which I like. Um, so while I have you guys here, let's actually play around with some of these other. Let's go to people and see what's up here. See if we can find something. Here's anime. What does that do? That looks, that's kind of like, kind of like an Orton effect. That's not too good. Uh, Tootsie Glow. I might have picked a different name for that. Uh, Luminizer Portrait. Let's see what that does. So you can see all these different ones add these different effects. And what's nice is you can just paint, you know, you can always hit B on the, uh, on the keyboard. Or actually, you can choose your, um, let me see. Uh, ah, okay, so you can't edit the presets. So, okay, so let's see, that's something we're learning together. You can edit the filters uh, in the filter section if you go down here to the effects module, but you can't edit the presets, so you can't change uh, shadows and paint out certain parts of the presets here. 
Um, I don't think, at least. Let me let me see. Maybe you can. If you so, I just clicked the brush over here. Let's see if I can do that. Maybe no, I don't think you can. No, nope, I think I just added an adjustment layer. Oh well, no big deal. Presets are actually pretty nice. Let's go back. Let's go to color film and see what that does. Might be some cool stuff in here. Let's try this one. That one's kind of nice. Here, oh, here's, here we go. Here's some Fujifilm presets. Now we're talking. Fujifilm Provia. Yeah. Let's check that out. Check out this one. Now that one's cool. That one's like old school wedding. If you guys are into that kind of thing. Uh, ooh, this one looks kind of cool. That one makes his skin a little too pink. Let's see. So you can see there's, there's like presets to the end of the world inside of on one and it comes with it for free so you can just play around with this all day uh, anyway I, sh I should have ended the video like five minutes ago but as you can see on my computer it's 1 50 a.m in the morning and i'm tired so uh i'm gonna go ahead and end the video now if you guys have any questions uh feel free to leave them in the comments uh before i end the video i'm going on vacation next week uh starting on may the May the 6th, actually, so it's over the weekend, uh, and I promise I'll be doing videos on vacation, uh, but I won't have my whole editing suite. I'm not going to be editing them. I'm just going to be doing quick iPhone vlogs, uh, which you guys have seemed to like those in the past, so it's just going to be quick and dirty vlogs on my iPhone. I'll give some some great on-location tips and stuff and just kind of thoughts throughout the, the trip, and I'll just upload them raw as is from the phone, so uh, you guys can... Um, Catch me on those videos next week, and I'm going to finish up these post-processing videos before I go, because I still have to pack for vacation, which I haven't done yet. That'll be fun. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you would like to stay up to date on all of my photography videos and free tutorials, please consider subscribing by clicking on my face. And if you would like to find out more about me and how to improve your photography, visit my website at findingmiddleearth.com.